start recording let's see how we go just first of all just just check i've got everything where i want it to be okay so the last video i posted was in these veil studios and obviously coronavirus has taken effect and no longer was I able to get up to the studio. I was fortunate enough when we shot the video, the other thing that I was doing was packing down my studio gear and bringing it back to Cardiff. So I've got a setup here back home. So I'm still doing a couple of bits of production, bits and pieces, and I'm also doing mixing for a couple of people on and off in time being. The other thing that I've been doing as well is um, obviously watching quite a few streams, and I think there's a few bits and pieces that people are missing out on. And I just, just want to do this video just to kind of answer a couple of questions that I've been talking to people individually and um, I just wanted to show like one of the first things that I've noticed is when people are recording especially artists musicians one thing they're really missing is doing something as simple as this so everyone's posting I know obviously it's coming from your Facebook page but it could be even simpler just to get a couple more likes is having something as simple as like a Facebook social link uh, you know your twitter handle your instagram link anything for youtube if you've got a shorter address anything like that will just help you kind of raise your profile and also point people just, just kind of in the corner out of the way um obviously this one here is just in the center but i mean i could put it over here it can go up there i mean this is pretty easy i mean it's literally easy i'm using some software that lets me move it around the screen so what i'd like to kind of just do in this this video really is just to talk a little bit about some of the settings that i'm using some of the software that i'm using and also how i've set up sessions or how i'm setting up video sessions for um live streaming and how we do how i'm doing at the present time and just talking you through that really so this is um software i'm currently using um so the software that oh for god's sake <laughs> right so Software I am currently using is something called Open Broadcast Software. It is free and it lets you basically amalgamate a few, a lot of different items onto a screen and it, you know, you can change scenes really, really easily and you can then broadcast this as a stream or actually film recording for editing at a later date. Um, the I'm currently shooting this on my Mac Pro. I haven't got a webcam. So what I'm actually using at the present time I'm using an app on my iPhone which is connected to the Mac Pro over USB and I'm using EpoCam HD. Um, I'll put a link in the description for that as well. So it is it's like it's um the HD version is like a five I think it's five pound subscription. It just saves me spending like 70, 80, 100 quid for a webcam when I've got you know I've got enough cameras and it is literally it's just um like I've got a little small stand which is blue tacked to the top of my monitor here. So <laughs> got a little mirror behind me. So that's literally all I'm doing. I've got the mic I got my audio setup recording um so I've got the mic here and then my iPhone is literally just filming this footage now and I put the background with the socials. So open broadcast software and streaming um the other thing that i want to look at as well um so this is the, that's how i've got the camera set up the next thing then is i've had a couple of people actually i've been talking to a few people about setting up audio or coming in like for apps from outside of um for live streaming if you if you're doing just like acoustic songs i mean you can probably get away with just using your mic and your phone I, one thing i'd say is like if you can put a link for your socials that's a really really good handy starting point um, if you're looking at things with more music tech, more kind of, t if you're looking at anything more technology based, you might be looking at something where you want to stream a few different applications down, almost like down into one item. Um, one of the questions I've answered a couple of times to different people on Skype, on Skype calls and Zoom calls and FaceTimes or whatever, is how can I stream audio and make it you know, the, the high, better, better quality and not actually get so much room sound and everything. And one of the apps that I'm actually kind of already got on the screen, I've been talking for far too long, is something called Loopback. So what Loopback is really, really useful for is, I've got the trial version at the moment, but um, because I'm using something a bit more complicated that we don't really need to get into, um, Loopback is something that's really simple. It basically lets you take the output of the audio from different applications and then it'll play it almost act as your microphone and inputs for um webcams or like the input for the software like zoom like facebook or live streaming so this is something that you can be really really good so what i want to do is just show you how you can set up a simple you know simple session on here so what i'm going to call this is i'm going to call this streaming setup 
and all I want to do now is say I wanted to add a couple of sources. So I'm going to add iTunes because I have some backing tracks for iTunes. I'm going to add something from Spotify in case I want to put some music on Spotify. I'm also going to add Pro Tools. So it could be that, you know, like a few different things. And what you see is all these links here. All what this means is all these apps, all the links on the um, the green lines, they're all linking to these output channels for loopback. So it's almost like the outputs of... Um, it's like doing a software connection from one into the other. So we're going from the output of iTunes into the what's actually the, the output channel for loopback. That's what the this section here is what um, would be the microphone settings for the streaming software that you're using. So that means you can put multiple things in as well. Now, one of the reasons I've actually done that, if I just literally just play something quickly on here, so this is a demo from Bank or Bedface. You can see that the audio is coming through here on, on iTunes and then the audio is being linked to loop back there. Now I could do the same on Spotify and I've just gone, what have I gone with Spotify? We are going to do music concentration. And then you can see the same thing again. You see the same thing again where like the metering and this link, these are all linking into channels one and two. Now, the next thing is what about microphones? Now, microphones, sam simple as this, you just bring in your sound card. So for this, I've got this Neumann plugged into my um, Allen Heath desk, and that'll be on my Q16. So I actually add that in, and you will see that a couple of different inputs have could be coming through. So channels one and two here are actually the mass, the, the meters, the um, main faders. And channel 5 is the microphone input I've got set up. So if I wanted to, I could look at doing, I could look at actually routing, clicking on the dot here and routing that to channels left and right there. And then that would mean I then have, as you can see, these all coming through. And this basically means you can set the inputs. And that would then mean when it came to streaming, all your apps are connected, everything's working, you've got your mic set up, so then you could perform and everything will be kind of working and it would become up. The sound card that you'd be looking for on Facebook, on the audio settings, or on the um, so open broadcast software, you would then be looking for streaming setup as a sound card. And that's pretty much it for um, loopback. So it's something I'd recommend. It's um, it's a soft. It's basically it's working on software, and it's basically almost like jacking the input, jacking the audio from the output back into the input, and just mixing everything down to two channels for you. So I, I recommend having a look at it, but the main thing is, especially when before going live, is just you know have a go, have a play, have a trial, and see if it works for you. Um, they, we can go into a lot more detail and a lot more information about certain bits and pieces with streaming as well and with like audio routing. Um, but for now, I want to try and keep it as simple as possible. So that's all I really want to check on that for now. So we have done, we've done the open broadcast software. We've done that. So the next thing for me then that I wanted to look at is about going live on Facebook. If you ha if people haven't done already, it's now is probably the time to be doing it. So what I'd be saying is, what I'd be saying, what I'd recommend doing is, we've got the, f I've got my Facebook page up here now. I mean, um, what we've got at the top here, we've got create a live event, we've got an offer. Um, don't be scared of pressing the live button. If you click it, what it will do, and I didn't press the, right, let's go back. Love it, right. So, what we have is the Facebook page, and we have got um, so we've got the section at the top here. Where it says create. And what I want you to do, we've got I want you to basically go. If you just press the live button, don't be scared about pressing it. What will actually happen is you don't automatically go live on the browser. It basically just takes you to this page now. So we've got waiting for live video. We've got some information about where we want to post it. So you could go to my own, my own timeline. I could do it on a page that I manage. Um, so I'm going, to, I'm going to the page that I manage, which is this one. Um, my John Khan producer page is also linked to Leesville Studios. So I could actually cross post to that. And I could also share it to a group as well, which we haven't actually started talking about, but that's all ready to go now. So what that would mean is when I go live on here, um, it would mean that I'd be able to actually stream to three different platforms. And it just means that, say, I've got... Um, 
you know, say I need, if I want to stream to another page, like a cross post to like a producer live or like, I know Car like Tom Lewis and a few other people have been actually um, doing like a live events at certain points. So it was like streaming events for people to actually get in touch. So that's one way of being able to cross post. So the other thing that's actually quite interesting about this is if I just take the cross post off and save that. And then if I take the group page off. I've also got published as a test broadcast. Now test broadcast, what that means is it's going to go live, but the only people can see it is almost like a private broadcast for you to test the software. Um, so now that's all there. Now the next thing to look at is you could look at if I'm on my laptop or my, if I'm on the laptop, I could just use the built-in camera and microphone, but because I was talking about open broadcast software, I want to think about using something that's a bit more complex so we can do these screen changes and we can add the social buttons which is what I'm looking at for now so if we look at the bottom right corner here I've got this this saying waiting for live video so I'm just going to switch back over to open broadcast software and on the when we actually set up OBS there is oh yeah right so waiting the saying is waiting for live video so what we actually need to do is we need to we need to copy the information here the server role and the stream key and that would go into we'd be pressing on settings and this will bring up this little ice this this tab here and we go into um, stream we copy we paste in the server then we paste the stream key i log in with my settings as well for um, authentication for facebook i don't know if you have to or not but i just generally done i generally do that so then I'm going to go back to that one. And then if I press start streaming, what should happen now is here we are. So we're connecting now. So this is uploading and the video is coming online and you can see me in the bottom corner with my other bits. So I could actually go full screen. There's a bit of a delay, not too much of a problem at this moment in time. Let's go back down. And there's some other information things here that we can look at as well. So we can look at the, the event log, the bit rep, bit depth and everything um they might they might give us some more information as well about um resolution i think facebook sometimes recommend that you they recommend saying that the resolution should be 1280 by 720 um just because of terms of just bit it's a bit more optimized live videos aren't always you know as, as higher quality they're normally looking like obviously the bandwidth especially at the moment everyone's going live There's a lot more people using um facebook youtube social media because everyone's at home so that is something to consider um one of the things that i did look at is i rec i'm gonna keep this up for a second so live streaming max bit right bit rate is four megabits per second and um, they're recommending the 96k 120 kilobits per second is the audio quality on an mp3 um i'm probably it might be a case of playing around with it and seeing what happens and they're saying again 1920 by 1080p in terms of the screen but obviously when we looked at the previous settings as well they're saying it's too high so we would probably look at changing that in settings as well and let's go back to the stream setup. So once you're happy with everything, you need to give us a title. This is a test video going on my own page. Here is a test video. And then you just go start test. So now it's going online. I could check this at a later date. Okay, so I finished the, I finished the stream. Um, what the other thing that I'd be looking at doing now is having a look through all this and I know there's quite a lot of information to kind of get through is basically just have a play around with a few of the settings what I'm going to do as well is on my Facebook page and on the YouTube as well I'm going to put this on both my YouTube page and my Facebook is I'm going to provide a download link for you for a guide for actually setting up some templates for open broadcast software and I'm going to give a couple of other extra resources to help you download and make your videos look a little bit better um, because now obviously everyone's streaming I recommend having a go and seeing what can happen if you guys have got any questions drop me a message um, I'll do my best to get back to you and again if you have any questions about loopback anything about setting up or any other ways of streaming audio anything that you want to be in get in touch with let me know I'd love to hear from you 
Um, as I said, there'll be a link in the description as well for the video and for the files. And I will see you all again soon. Take care, take care stay safe, and see you soon.